Hey YouTube, it's Lavender. Um, happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having a great, a great Sunday. I was watching YouTube this morning and I came across a clip that was posted earlier in the year and it was a clip that was leaked from the 2018 convention of Jehovah's Witnesses. And watching it, even though it was only a few seconds, it gave me mixed emotions. I could relate to it if I were a Jehovah's Witness and I had been at that convention and watched that video. Um, it would have made me cry. And I did cry a little bit. And if I was one of those ones that was physically out but mentally in, kind of still in limbo and not sure about my beliefs, if someone would have shown that to me, I would have thought, oh my God, I got to get myself in order. I got to get back in the organization. I got to make my life right. You know, um, it's a very deceiving video. So... I just want to show you the clip real quick and then I'll come back in just a second so I won't keep you guys waiting here it is you may have seen it already but check it out <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I just had to throw a little bit of humor in there. So, back to my point. <laughs> the Watchtower believes and teaches that the first horseman in the four horsemen in Revelation 6 that is on the white horse is Jesus. However, that is not how Jesus is represented in Revelation. The way that I see things now makes me look at that video differently. Because I don't believe the same things that I did as I was a Jehovah's Witness. My husband is from El Salvador. He uh, gave me the translation of the words in that song in the clip. Um, it, it is in Spanish. Um, and I'm just going to read it to you is Jehovah God strengthen me let me get close to you let me see that there's more on my side than those who are against me I want to be brave or valiant and never doubt and because of you I can be brave or strong soon you will triumph and then it repeats for you all will be brave and soon you will be victorious so that's basically what the gist of the song says so if you can imagine hearing those words being sung as you're watching this video I mean as a Jehovah's Witness this would strengthen your faith um, and make you think that that the watchtower knows exactly what they're talking about 
So in this video, the man that's coming on the clouds is holding a bow. It says that the, the white rider comes out, he's been given a crown, and he has a bow. Jesus in Revelation does not hold a bow, and it says that he's wearing many crowns, and it says that out of his mouth comes a sword. The sword represents uh, his words that cut into the heart. So the information in the video, the way that they depict Jesus, it's not Jesus. I now believe to be the Antichrist, right? Jehovah's Witnesses teach that the first horseman is Jesus, but that is incorrect because when you read chapter 6, Jesus is the one opening the seals. So it doesn't make sense for Jesus to open the seal and Jesus would be the first one to come out of the seal. And since the white horse is, is holding a bow but no arrow, signifies to me that his power is limited. It says he was given a crown. So he was given a form of power, but his power is limited. He is made to look holy, like if he is, like if he has all the answers and he's going to save everyone, right? And no doubt many people will follow this Antichrist thinking that he's the answer, which is basically what Jehovah's Witnesses or the Watchtower are teaching their members that they're basically preparing them to accept the Antichrist. It also says that the four horsemen, the white horse is the first one out, then comes the red horse, which represents war, then comes the black horse, which represents the buying and selling with the mark of the beast, how everything in the marketplace um, is going to be messed up. Then comes the pale horse, which is named death. So it doesn't make sense for Jesus to come out first. Jesus is the hero. He's our king. So it would make sense for him to come last, which is what it talks about towards the end of Revelation, not at the beginning. I, as I said before, if I were Jehovah's Witness watching that at a convention, I would definitely be moved and think, wow, it's going to be amazing. But when you really analyze the scriptures to what they're showing in this video, it's not accurate. It's not truthful because they, they have it wrong. I know now that Jesus, or excuse me, that the devil uses scripture to twist things around. He's very subtle. I mean, when Jesus was on earth and the devil tempted him, did he not use scripture to try and trick Jesus? He did say, it is written, if you are the son of God, you can turn these stones into bread. Um, Satan uses scripture to twist things around, and that's exactly what the Watchtower does. But Satan is crafty, and he has been watching for thousands of years, humans. He knows how to lie. He knows how to trick people. It has to be subtle, or else no one would follow it, right? The Watchtower twisting the scriptures the way that they do to make you believe one thing, it's, it seems like a very subtle change. But when you really examine yourself and put your critical thinking cap on, um, it, it's a totally different meaning. Like this video. And it's very sad that, that Watchtower members have fallen for it. Um, and you may think that God has to have some type of special place for those who were misled, right? Because it's not their fault. It's it's the Watchtower's fault. It's the devil's fault for misleading them. And while there may be, I don't know, you know, I'm not God. Um, 
But the Bible does say, make sure that no one deceives you. It's, it's up to you to make sure that you are not deceived. And this unfortunately is something that Satan definitely has his claws in, into this organization. I'm sure this video was extremely heartwarming to Jehovah's Witnesses. Their trust or their beliefs are misplaced. And I don't believe that that, that was Jesus. <laughs> you know, it's a misrepresentation. And not only that, but If they believe that Jesus came back invisibly, air quotes, in 1914, and that he would not make another appearance that people could visibly see, it kind of doesn't make sense for them to make this, this video. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you making it through the end of the video. Leave your comments, share your thoughts, and let me know what you think. Y'all have a blessed day.